Hello, I'm Donald Lloyd-Jones, Chair of the Committee on Scientific Sessions Programming for the American Heart Association. And I'm really excited to walk you through what this year's virtual meeting is gonna look like. I can tell you that AHA staff and the volunteers that comprise the CSSP Committee have been working nonstop, initially designing an in-person meeting back in January, but obviously with COVID and the, the major changes we've all seen in our scientific meetings, we've rapidly pivoted to design what we hope is gonna be a really engaging and exciting experience for all of you at Scientific Sessions 2020. So I'm gonna walk you through what we uh, expect for the content, but also focus on some of the ways we really hope we're gonna engage our participants and our attendees. And we hope that each of you will serve as an ambassador to help us drive people to, to attend the meetings and hopefully have a really special experience. So, uh, as always, we are focusing on making sure we deliver the best in class education and clinical content. We'll be engaging global experts from around the world on all of our science and getting their perspectives uh, so that we really get a robust discussion going around the science that you'll see at sessions this year. Of course, we'll be presenting state of the art information and the most impactful late breaking science presentations. And we're really excited about the content of our late breakers that we got this year which I'll review for you in a little bit. What's really important, I think we've learned about these virtual meetings is navigation. So we're trying to create a very easy user-friendly digital experience so that people will know where they wanna go, they can find the sessions they want to attend um, and also find the people that they wanna bump into at the meetings, just like we were in person. So we'll be bringing our users together in new ways and there'll be many flexible ways to consume the content We'll have live content and simul live content, as well as many on-demand sessions that people can browse at their convenience. And importantly, if you register for the meeting this year, while the meeting itself will occur on five days from November 13th through 17th, all of the content will be available for reg registrants up through January 4th of 2021. So you'll be able to get to those sessions that you couldn't see during the meeting and really get a, sense to, a chance to, to see them in an on-demand format. So as I mentioned, uh, we've, we've expanded the meeting from, from three days to five days this year uh, in order to not overburden any particular day. And the meeting will take place from November 13th through 17th. I should say that registration is open now, and I hope that most, if not all of you, have already taken the opportunity to register. During the course of those five days, we'll have 65 featured sessions, the best of the best science and the best of the best uh, main event content uh, that will tell us about science and clinical care and the latest in cardiovascular guidelines as well. In addition, we'll have over 440 on-demand sessions that will include breakouts and posters where you'll have the opportunity to actually interface with some of the speakers as well during the time of their presentation. Uh, real premium this year on networking opportunities. It's been very hard, I think, for all of us uh, since we can't see our friends and our colleagues in person. Um, we have a number of ways to make sure that people can get together and share those networking experiences that are so important. Included in this is when you register, you'll actually tell us some of the features that you look for in people that you talk to at the meetings. And there's an AI powered algorithm that will help with matchmaking to get you together with people who you may not know yet, but that you should know. Um, and we'll certainly be le leveraging Zoom platforms to enhance interactions as well. And there'll be real opportunities for chat discussions with the faculty, the trialists, and even a new person, your co-pilot, who I'll talk about in a moment. And of course, every day there will be industry-sponsored events that you'll be able to attend as well. Now to get to some of the specific content this year, I'm really excited to tell you about the opening session. Uh, we'll be welcomed first by Dr. Mitch Elkins, president of the American Heart Association, and then I'll be able to walk you through an overview of the sessions, as well as help people start to navigate their way through the meeting. But as we all know, 2020 has been just an extraordinary year in so many ways, and we thought it would be good to slow down before we dive into the, the splashy science. It would be good to slow down and reflect on what's important about what we do as cardiovascular clinicians and scientists. And so we're very, very pleased to say that Dr. Eugene Brownwald and Dr. Nanette Wenger will be joining us live during the opening session. And they'll have a fireside chat that will be led by Drs. Clyde Yancey and Bob Harrington, former presidents of the American Heart Association. 
Now, Drs. Brownwald and Wenger recently both celebrated their 90th birthday, birthdays, so they have the long view of what's important about what we're doing and how things may change as a result of COVID. So we're very excited to have that as part of our opening session, where I think we'll all get a chance to reflect on not only the important contributions that these two giants of cardiovascular medicine have made during their careers, but also get their perspectives on where we're going for the future. Importantly also, uh, our first session on Saturday will focus on structural racism as a public health crisis. And this is a joint session where we are sponsoring with the, American, the Association for Black Cardiologists. Uh, and so I'll be joined by the ABC president, Dr. Michelle Albert. And we've designed the session so that we'll start with two keynote speakers, Dr. David Williams and Dr. Lisa Cooper, who will set the stage for what we hope will then be a very robust live discussion uh, of structural racism and, and focusing on solutions to our public health crisis in this area. So we're pulling together people from government, public health, uh, industry, academia, and training and education venues to help us really get our hands around structural racism and what we as individuals and leaders can be doing to combat this public health crisis. Uh, in addition, we have many sessions, as you might imagine, focused on COVID during scientific sessions this year. Um, we're going we're gonna to feature the COVID-19 Rapid Response Research Consortium that the American Heart Association funded this past spring, and we'll, which actually is already developing results uh, as a result of those grants. So we're excited to see those, those uh, preliminary results. Uh, we also have a, uh, a main event focused on latest insights on COVID-19 and particularly its effects on the cardiovascular system. And this, uh, this session will feature a talk from Dr. Anthony Fauci. So we're very excited to hear from him, of course. We have a, a late breaker session that will feature the latest registry data from the Get With The Guidelines and other COVID-19 registries. Um, and then a global roundtable where we'll hear from colleagues from six countries across the globe and how they've dealt with COVID and also their insights on COVID and cardiovascular disease. Uh, we had a banner year for the late breaking clinical trials that we received this year, uh, really a record number, uh, which surprised us and of course we're delighted by. Um, so to walk you through some of these very high impact studies that you should hopefully be uh, licking your lips and wetting your appetite for. Um, for those of you interested in heart failure, we have Galactic HF, uh, a study of omicamative macarbil, uh, phase three uh, outcome study, which I think is going to be very interesting. A firm AHF, which is uh, iron supplementation for hospitalized heart failure patients. And of course, perfect for this year, the invested trial, which is looking at low dose versus high dose flu vaccination for heart failure patients as well. So all of those I think will be potentially practice changing uh, uh, and paradigm shifting trials. For those of you interested in the ongoing uh, discussions about fish oil, we have vital rhythm, fish oil uh, and or vitamin D for primary prevention of atrial fibrillation. Uh, this is an ancillary study of the large vital trial that was presented a couple of years ago. I think we're very interested in those results. Uh, strength and OMAMI are both EPA DHA combination pills uh, in, different, uh, uh, in different subsets of patients. And I think that they will help us understand the results of reduce it uh, and, and where we go in the future with fish oil supplementation. Uh, a number of prevention oriented trials, TIPS and TIPS aspirin, the largest to date international trials using a polypill approach uh, and with or without aspirin. Uh, so we'll have, uh, I think, very interesting uh, discussions around the, the role of the polypill for prevention. And then some large registries in phase two trials that are looking at novel uh, approaches such as ANGPTL3 inhibition. Uh, in the next bullet, you see uh, a large array of antiplatelet and uh, antithrombotic trials, which will address different clinical situations. I think we're really excited about all of those. Uh, we mentioned the COVID-19 registry outcome session. And then finally, a really important session looking at implementation of evidence-based medicine and how we can deliver that the evidence-based medicine better to our patients to drive adherence and of course, better outcomes. So we hope that you'll attend uh, all of the nine late breaker sessions. This is just a, a quick overview of some of the highlights. Of course, as every year, we are uh, delighted to have our partners from resuscitation science areas uh, who will be having their meeting in parallel. 
the, um, uh, you can see the content here on this slide. Um, and of course, it's the same registration process as the main meeting as well. Uh, this just gives you a sense of what kind of what the grid looks like for our main sessions. Uh, we have uh, what we're calling four different channels going uh, at any given time. Generally speaking, we will be doing nine to one, uh, nine a.m. to one p.m. Central uh, each day with uh, with great content. And then again, we'll have a session in the evening with both a, a daily wrap up, uh, but then also some featured content as well. So you can see starting on Friday the thirteenth. Uh, hopefully, not bad luck. Uh, and then going through the weekend here on Saturday, uh, late breaking science sessions, as you can see the presidential session on Saturday, as well, a cardio oncology main event uh, on, on Saturday evening. Um, and then going to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, as you can see, again, the late breaking science sessions uh, generally occurring on the channel one, but a number of other very high profile sessions as well that we hope you will uh, uh, keep your eyes open for. So uh, the educational content, I think, is just remarkable for a virtual platform. Uh, we mentioned 65 featured science sessions that will be on those channels we just looked at, uh, a number of on-demand sessions that will be in the more traditional format of cardiovascular seminars, joint sessions, and early career-focused sessions, uh, 50 moderated dig digital poster sessions, and then 238 standard poster sessions. And many of you have already been recording those, uh, those sessions. We really appreciate your engaging with AHA staff to make sure that's gone smoothly. Um, one of the innovations for this year, we thought that, uh, you know, it's always good to have a meeting buddy to tell you uh, kind of what's exciting about the meeting. And so our Vice Chair Manesh Patel came up with the thought of, of having a, a virtual co-pilot. So we have engaged about 20 charismatic AHA volunteers to be AHA co-pilots, as well as another 15 or so from around the globe who can be ambassadors for their countries. And they will be uh, publishing their itinerary. They will be uh, attending the sessions uh, that they go to, uh, live tweeting, and also engaging with, with you, the attendees, to give their sense of what they're seeing and then moving into chat rooms after those sessions to kind of enrich and enhance the dialogue. So we hope you will look for your co-pilot or co-pilots, uh, link up with them, and then make that part of your experience in this virtual meeting. Um, again, really putting a premium on networking. We mentioned the co-pilots, uh, the matchmaking tool as well, um, but we'll also have that live Q&A for featured sessions. We'll have the follow-on chat rooms and of course, some Zoom sessions as well for group interaction. But I also wanna emphasize that each evening we're gonna have a networking event so that you can get together with, uh, with individuals you would normally be seeing in person and actually hopefully move then into smaller groups as well to, to enhance your discussions. So we hope you will uh, uh, register today. Uh, these are the fees for partner members of the American Heart Association and for non-partners. Uh, we've substantially reduced the fees, as you know, uh, compared to a typical year, um, but tried to make them uh, uh, reachable, but also help support the efforts of the American Heart Association across the globe. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope this has been a, a, a presentation that has gotten you really interested in attending sessions and, and really making the most of it. Um, I can't thank the AHA staff and the amazing volunteers of the CSSP committee in, uh, enough. This has been just a Herculean effort uh, transitioning this to a virtual meeting. And uh, I know it's gonna be something that we all enjoy. So thank you again. Um, we're uh, happy to answer questions. Please feel free to reach out to me or HA staff. And um, uh, we look forward to seeing you virtually at this year's scientific sessions.